Pick up. Come on, come on. Pick up your phone. Come on, I know you have it on you. Come on, pick up. There you are. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it right now. What are you thinking? Don't give me that. I got your message. You cannot be serious about what you're thinking about doing. Because it's one thing to break into an abandoned building with me. Or, you know, occasionally subdue a guard. It's another thing to walk into a crime den. That's exactly what it is. It is the lair of Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. What else would you call it if not a crime den? Well, sure, yeah, I guess if you want to call it an office on the waterfront, it could be that too, but it's not that, and you and I both know it. Because I guarantee the people who you pass as you walk in there are all going to be hired thugs. They're not going to be dock workers, they're not going to be blue-collar average Joes. They're going to be thugs. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean it's safe. It just means that they're not going to start firing right away. And to be honest, if you're walking in there alone, they're not going to have to. You're one person. You're alone. You have no backup, and you don't have the training that somebody like me has. Training does matter. Yes, the will to action matters more, but training still matters. You go in there, you start asking questions, you start digging too much. He's going to know something's up. Please, please, just think about this for a second. All right, then at least tell me where you're going. Like, give me the address. Because you shouldn't be doing this alone. You shouldn't be doing it at all, but if you're going to be doing it, at least don't do it alone. I'm out on patrol right now. I can be there in ten minutes, not even. Just tell me where you're going. I can be there as a second set of eyes. I can see what's going on outside. Hell, if something goes really wrong, I can come get you. But this is a foolish, foolish thing for you to do. Yeah, it is. Made even more foolish by the fact that you don't have backup, so let me be your backup. You have my word, I won't interfere with you. Unless I think something real bad is happening, I will not interfere. <sighs> Thank you. Can you text me the address? Yeah, I think I know where that is, but it's going to take me like, yeah, ten minutes to get there, so just, you know, text me when you're close. What do you mean you're already there? Hold on, was your entire plan to send me some sort of cockamamie text message? Scoot out there and just hope that I wouldn't call you back? Oh my god, you've got to be the smartest dumb person I've ever met.
Yes, the smartest dumb person I've ever met. You're walking into, yes, a crime den, having just sent me a text message? Hell, you're lucky I didn't kick the door in halfway through your meeting. Fine, fine, whatever, just... <sighs> Leave your phone on when you get in there. I need to hear what's going on. <sighs> fine, yeah, I can use the helmet. What did you build in this time? Okay, to be fair, that actually sounds like it would work better, but still. I don't care about all the tech in my helmet. I care about you. I don't want you getting hurt or worse. Nobody's fine with death. I know from experience, so maybe a little caution. You know, maybe one day I'll tell you about my time as Robin. Maybe I can tell you why caution was one of the first things I learned after I came back to life. You know, from being dead. Fine, whatever. I'll be there in ten minutes. Just please, for the love of God, be safe. Be smart. And if something looks weird, start running. I'll find you, don't worry, but don't take any unnecessary risks. Yeah, I'll be there soon. Who are you? And what the hell do you want? <laughs> Been a long time since I smelled pretty. You... You smell pretty. Oh, maybe boss doesn't want to see you. Maybe I say boss doesn't want to see you. Ugh. You're gonna be a problem, aren't you? Now you talk a lot. I don't like talking. Ugh. Go away. Boss is busy. I don't think he cares who's at the door. Huh. You think that's special? Fine. But when boss tells you that you can't come in, I'm carrying you out. Huh. We'll see. You can come in. Shut up. And through that door. Well, well. Look who we have here. Aren't you quite the sight? 
Oh, no, no. I don't think we need no names here. Trust me. In this line of work, names just complicate things. Besides, I'm sure we could find some nice nicknames for each other. What do you think? Well, you're from Fox Tech. What about a Foxy? Oh, come on now. You walked into my house. Least you could do is let me have a little fun. So tell me, what are you doing here? Wait, 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 what do you mean? <sighs> of course, those pencil pushers can't get nothing right, can they? Well, I guess it was only a matter of time. Listen, I'm not sure what you think you thought you found. But this is a legitimate business operation, Foxy. We just sell fish. Nothing more, nothing less. Look at this place. You think I wouldn't, you know, have a nicer place? I sell fish, not the uh, illegal who's a what's it's like you say. I'm just a simple fish salesman. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? You got some kind of proof? Oh, that's adorable. Listen, this one thinks they got some kind of proof. All right, I'll play along then. Oh, a file. Oh, how very professional. You're very professional, aren't you? All right, I'll play. Where'd you get this file? Huh. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's been researching how to be a proper criminal. Cards close to the chest. I like it. That's a way to play. It's a good chest to keep close to, I mean. Oh, come on now, Foxy. Don't be like that. So you got a file. I do hope it's not the original. Oh, look, somebody's clever. All right, then. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that stupid son of a bitch. All right. Well, I guess you can see what our operation really is. Darling, please don't play coy with me. You know, if you have this paperwork in front of you, what he's been helping me to expedite, as it were. What? You want me to spell it out for you? He gets people what they need to steal. They go steal it. I take care of it after they give it to me. It's a win-win-win. What the hell do you think I get out of it? Money. I get money. I'm not some crazy looking to take over the city. I've already tried that gambit. It doesn't work. <sighs> Foxy. Before, I thought you were just some little girl playing a game. You're serious. So I'm being serious. I make money. Money makes the world go round. Money 
greases wheels, which makes me more money. That's what I do. I'm very good at it. I tried to be a hotshot. I tried to be a bigwig. It doesn't work in this town. So instead, I do this. Because it makes me money. Dear God, you are the smartest dumb person I've ever met, or the dumbest smart person, and I can't tell which. <laughs> that ain't a compliment. So, if you're here with this file, you must want something. No, 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 no. You didn't walk in here with nothing in that brain of yours. Pretty face hiding a pretty brain, I can tell. If you're here, you want something. You wouldn't just march in here to tell me that you know. So spill. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. I guess you do get it after all. A cut. And what, pray tell, will you get with this cut? Oh. See, you get it. But I am forced to ask, how much is this cut going to cost me? Oh, that's a mighty steep number. I was thinking more along the lines of 5%. I could be persuaded to go to 8. Well, you know, for you, I could be persuaded to go a little further. Oh, come on now. You're not stupid, I can tell. Oh, do I really have to spell it out for you? Ruins the romance. You walked in here. You walked in with a file. I don't think you have too much of another plan. You want that number? Well... I want something else in exchange. Well, you got two options. Option A involves us going into that back room there, and uh, my boy's getting to hear a good show. There is another option, though. Option B, we cut out the uh, middleman per se. You take idiot's place here. He's dead anyway. Oh, he was never supposed to be taking these records. The fact that he did, well, it just means I'm gonna have to deal with it. No, 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 no. Don't you worry about the particulars. He'll get dealt with. But I'm gonna need somebody in his place, and... Well, who better than a high-paying Fox Tech executive? Oh, come on. This isn't hard math. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. Well, I mean, if I'm being honest, looking at you, I'd prefer the back room option, but... I don't know, I get the feeling you're gonna be a little, uh... cold. You know, I can be a very inviting man if you give me the chance. I'm just saying. Oh, okay, okay, all right. A little too far there. <sighs> Maybe it'd be a little too far if uh, 
I told you I didn't want to pay you, huh? Maybe I'll just uh, keep you here. You know a little too much about our organization, so you know. Maybe I take away the other offer. Oh, come on now. You really think I couldn't deal with a speed bump like you? I have been moving this product all over Gotham. Ain't nothing I can't do if I don't want to. You see, this is the problem with you eggheads. You all seem to think the same thing. Somebody like me, somebody, uh, less educated, we could never figure this sort of thing out, but I figured it out. And you're gonna respect that. Oh, I think you are. I think you really are. I gave you the deal that I want. You're gonna have to think about it, and I'm only gonna give you the next ten seconds, you get me? Oh, now, now. Ain't nothing to be gained by that. Because I've been called every name in the book, doll, ain't nothing you can say that's gonna offend me. Oh, really? And what's that? Oh, and what the hell is that supposed to mean? What the hell? Who the... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Penguin. How you living? If it ain't the pimple. Red Hood, thank you very much. Whatever you say, Bat Freak. What are you doing here? Oh, just, you know, swinging through the neighborhood. Busting up my favorite low-level criminal. I found that little lab of yours, you know. The one a couple blocks away. Now, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know nothing about that. You're just out here harassing an honest businessman. Really? You're an honest businessman? I am a pillar of the community. I have been for years since I got out of Arkham. That Arkham stint was a bullshit throw, and you know it. Hey, a jury of yours and my peers didn't seem to think so. So I guess they know better than you, don't they? Pimple. Is it because of the red helmet? Like, do you think that's clever? I like it. I'm sure you do, and how many of your men like it? Oh, they all love it. And how many of them do you pay to love it? Oh, you got a little tongue on you, don't you, kiddo? No. I see that's not the only thing you pay to love it, huh? Oh. You're a piece of shit, aren't you? Yep. That's why the bat hates me. Now. I believe you and I have a lab to talk about. Oh, we're not talking about anything. Don't you worry. Oswald, I have a foot and a half on you, and a foot reach. What do you think you're going to do to stop me? Well, I got a few ideas. Hey, boys. <laughs> uh, of course. You know, this is what I get for dropping right into your crime lair. Crime lair? This is an office. What are you talking about, crime lair? You're here. It's a crime lair. How does this... 
Get out. You think this would be my crime layer? <laughs> I would have a much nicer layer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go take care of a few things. But my boys would be more than happy to entertain you. Dollface, I'll uh, see you around, yeah? Tell me how the show is. You should stick around. My boys do a great tango. Oswald, you're not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, like you're going to be able to stop me with those guys around. Toodles. Oswald, don't shoot. <laughs> All right. Who's first? Me. Well, then. Let's play. I will never grow tired of fighting goons. They never fight well. Now, Oswald. Oswald? Hey, Penguin. Where the hell did he go? What do you mean you didn't see? What do you mean you weren't watching? Why were you watching me fight? I have been doing this for years. I don't need your help in a fist fight. I need you to watch whether. <sighs> this whole. Half-baked idea was yours. Please, please, please tell me. You didn't let him get away. Which way did he walk? <sighs> All right, hold on. Damned. Bookshelf? Who the hell has a bookshelf in a dockside office? Wait. This is Gotham. You're closer. That stupid little statue bust. Twist the head. There it is. You know, one day, just one day, I'd like to not have this city be a walking stereotype of itself. No, he's long gone. This is going to lead right to the water. He's going to have a boat. I guarantee if you look out the window right now... Yep. About halfway across the water. What, what do you mean, go after him? I'm the Red Hood, not Aquaman. I can't catch him. I don't have a bat submarine. I have a motorcycle outside. That is it. I do not have aquatic transportation. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, he's gone. He's he, he's gone. We're not catching him. Because 
Despite everything, we got some information. He's selling everything that's stolen in Gotham. He is, however, going to kill the new contact, so... Yeah, no, he's definitely going to kill that guy. We got to get him to safety. He's an upper-level VP at a tech firm. He's not the devil. I mean, he's probably close, but he's not the devil. Besides his crimes, he doesn't deserve to die for them. Trust me, I'm good at knowing who deserves to die. I will get him out, okay? Just... Maybe think next time before you do this. Because going off half-cocked is what led us to all of this debacle. Oswald's gone. I got a bunch of goons on the floor asleep. No solid lead now that everything's gonna get burned. And I gotta go save a guy. <sighs> yeah, well... That's why we plan. It's fine. I get it. It's fine. You were high on being a vigilante. It's exciting, but... Here we are now. No, what we've got to do is get out of here, because knowing Oswald, the first thing he did, he called the cops. Because he has the local GCPD on the take. They're always on the take. They're the most corrupt group of idiots on the planet. Now we gotta go. No, there's gonna be no information here. He's not that stupid, unfortunately. Let's just get out of here. My bike's outside. I'll give you a ride. Yeah, I'm pissed. But right now, we got bigger problems. Like corrupt cops, so... We'll deal with that later. Right now, we go. Just walk outside and get on the damn bike. Come on.